Yo, it's your girl Henny Chris and you're watching Dank TV. You can't keep me out of this bitch. It's your boy Cool Dre from around the way. Here to steal your bait and I'm here rolling with Dank TV. My name is Young Chad and we watch the Dank TV. Hey man, you already know what the fuck it is. It's your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions. The Dank Daddy from the Dank TV. You feel me? And who, who, I, who do I have with me today? Yo, 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 what's up? My name's John Dom, Delaware, born and raised. How y'all doing? What's up, Cheeseburger? How you doing today? Yeah, yeah, bro. You know, I'm just chilling. You feel me? Another day in the old hurricane season out here. Uh -huh. I thought hurricane season was over. <laughs> <laughs> So shit, bro. Tell us what you got going on today. Like, tell us what you got going on. Cool. So a lot of shows are going on. Orlando, Tampa, Miami, uh, Fort Myers. You know, this year's been crazy, man. We've got a lot of people show love. I'm show support. You know, last year, two years ago, like not a lot of people were supporting, showing up to my shows, always making excuses. Now motherfuckers actually showing up, saying it's a good time. Um, it's a great feeling. Uh, you know, we got a lot of fresh music. I actually just got the master for one of my new songs today. Uh, probably dropping a new single by the end of this month. We got a music video dropping next month. Man, we got a lot of shit that we got to premeditate. You know what I'm saying? What you, what you got going on recently? No, I know you've been working. I know you've been working. I mean, shit. I mean, I be trying to do a little something here and there. I ain't doing shit, man. I ain't up to nothing, bro. You feel me? So, shit, I heard you open up for high res last night. Well, what was it like? Friday, Friday, Friday night, Friday night, Friday night. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, it was a very anticipated experience. You know, I've been uh, boys with that man since high school. Uh, you know, he's been touring, doing his thing for a while. Kind of been waiting for that day for years. And, yo, it went 100% way better than I thought it was going to be. Everyone showed up, pulled up, mad love. High res was great, all the openers were great. It was a very special moment that we had there that night, man. So knowing that you opened up for high res, high res Friday, what, what tracks did you perform? So the tracks I performed, we had a nice little 15 minute set. Uh, started out with Demons Part 2, kind of ballsy, just went right into it. Got a lot of darkness out at first. Moved on to my new unreleased song, Halo. Got a little sneak peek to every one of that. Then we did Don't Give Up On Me, a tribute to my uh, fallen angel friend, rest in peace, Jay Willie. Um, then we started lighting up the mood. You know, we dropped another unreleased song, me and my boy. A uh, collab song called All My Way, coming soon, it's on its way. Um, did my main song, Darling, everyone seems to be fond of. You know, got the whole crowd singing it and shit, that shit was great. Um, you know, ended it on that new banger, unreleased as well. So there's a lot of unreleased music. Um, there's a lot of good music already out there. You know, we're just working what we got and trying to make some new stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you got any features on these upcoming projects you just talked about? Yeah, yeah. So I've been kind of low-key about uh, the feature game. You know, um, my first couple projects I released under John Don haven't been doing much with features. Um, I got a couple um, so far on this next project. Definitely going to be using my boy Zach. I got a homeboy in Delaware, Corpus Dry, great singer. Uh, we got DBN. Uh, MC Split Soul is probably going to be on the project. High Reds is going to be on the project. Okay. Emilio Rojas is going to be on the project. Um, you know, I'm not trying to rush this next project too much. So keep doing shows. Um, you know, we got a lot of great opportunities knocking at the door right now. And I think it's time to, you know, open it, open up and let these motherfuckers come in. Because, okay. you know, shit's been going smooth lately, man. Okay, okay. So are you from Orlando? Where are you from? Originally, I'm from the 302, uh, Delaware, you know, right by Philly and shit. Um, I stayed there since I was like 14. Um, had some family issues, fallouts, you know, relocation and shit. Went to uh, Broward when I was 14, like by Miami and shit. Went to Douglas, that's where I met Rez. Went to the same high school. Uh, that's where a lot of these homies, uh, right here in the building, that came and showed love. We from the same area. Um, moved to Fort Myers when I was like 18. You know, uh, did our thing, did my college experience, parted my ass off. Uh, I actually stopped rapping for a couple of years because I was partying too much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we good now. Um, but yeah, man, I just recently moved to Orlando like two years ago. And it's uh, it's been fucking awesome so far. A lot of great networking, a lot of people trying to do music, you know, chase their dreams out here. Uh, it's great to be around more people that are as open-minded as we are. Mm. So knowing you've been out here in Florida for like two years, do you like, do you 
you like Disney World? You ever been? Like Disney World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually work for a travel company that works directly with Disney. Um, Universal, Disney, Aquatica. I mean, I'm the plug for the tickets, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I love Disney. My girl has a Disney pass. So I'm probably going to have to get one soon. Um, yeah, Disney's great. Universal's great. That's a lot of the reason why people come to Orlando, you know? All the theme parks. You know, see Mickey, give him a hickey, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, yeah. So, shoot, who's your favorite artist out here in Orlando? Out here in Orlando, um, I've been watching this cat, Creative Angel, coming up. We've been doing this thing around here. Um, I think uh, Kasky is from Orlando as well, repping the 407. Um, it, it's funny, like I've, I've got to see a lot of like, local al uh, talents and acts or whatever. There's not that many people I've been up to network, but um, you know, there's a lot of cats I'm sure that are out there that I haven't heard of that are just making fucking noise out here in Orlando. So when the time comes, I'm, I'm ready to be with them, network with them. You know, there's a lot of great talent in the 407, 954, 813 area coming up right now. Miami, everything. Yeah, Tampa, Orlando, Miami, we're doing it right now in Florida. So, do you think people do really good business out here in Orlando? Pictures? Oh, business. Like, like shady or not shady. Um, I mean, I think it's all the same wherever the fuck you go, man. It's just, it all depends on the people. Um, but what, what, I've gotten screwed a couple times in Orlando. Um, I've gotten screwed big time in Fort Myers, opening up a riff rap. Um, you know, so it really just depends. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been fucked in every county in this goddamn state when it comes to music. But, you know, that's just the industry. And, you know, you got to learn how to, you know, take the punches and just keep going, dog. So what do you got to say to all of these clowns out here? You know, your haters. Uh, you know, haters, you know, y'all hate. It's all good. I understand. Shit. I mean, shit. If I was in your shoes, I'd probably hate me, too. You know, but, I mean, it's one love, man. You know, it doesn't matter if you're yellow, purple, Chinese. I mean, like, we all got to be supportive of what we're doing, even if we don't like it or not. Like, even if you don't vibe with us, love us, you still just got to respect the craft and the grind. So... Who do you record with out here in Orlando? Okay, my main guy, Zach Cabral, amazing singer, uh, lead singer of this band, Conflicting Motive. Um, I actually chopped it up with him when I first moved to Orlando on a full sale university networking uh, page. Um, he has a studio I go to called Casador that I currently intern at, you know, promote it a little bit, try to get everyone in. Beautiful recording space, great studio, great analog equipment, UA audio plugins. I mean, we got the whole nine in there. Uh, yeah, Casador Studios. Y'all need anywhere in Orlando, Tampa, Winter Park area? If y'all need a motherfucking professional audio, I would suggest Casador Studios. You heard? So, when when you get that bag, how you gonna act? What you gonna do when you get that bag? When I get that bag, you know, I'm gonna try to stay humble and at least stay. I'm gonna try to stay humble. Who knows, man? I mean, I'll never know, man. Um, I hope the money don't change me into a terrible person. Um, but I, I've always told myself I'd be a good investor with my money, you know, put it in the market, crypto, flip houses or whatever. I don't think I'm the kind of guy that would get like, spend 200 grand on the chain, but I might spend a couple, you know? <laughs> and you gotta treat yourself, you live once. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. It's a good question. We'll just see when the time comes, right? All right, man, I hope I stay humble, stay true to myself. You know, I like helping people, giving back out. Um, you know, so, hope the bag don't change you, man. Cause we gonna get the fucking bag. <laughs> we gonna get the fucking bag, 100%. Facts, facts. So, what, what kind of upcoming projects you have? Cool. So, we got a, a collab EP dropping with my boy DVN, who we're performing with tonight. Um, you know, great artist, great singer, you know, um, we make a lot of good music along the way, you know, our friendship is really tight, he's like a brother, he's like family to me now, so, just very national synchronization, um, untitled, right now, the record, um, but I do have a solo project, I'm probably going to be dropping at the end of this year, it's going to be called Hustle Now, Relax Later. So have you been on tour yet? No, 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 I haven't necessarily been on tour. I mean, I've done a lot of shows back to back to back in different cities and whatnot. Um, you know, I'm trying to get the budget to, you know, finance my own tour, be independent. You know, I can rock with venues. I know the venues, network the promoters. 
a lot of it's financial in the game in the industry. Um, hopefully, yo, Rez, if you listen to this right now, yo, your next tour, you need someone, special guest, yo. Hope you consider me. I had a great time with you on Friday night. I really think I can bring something to the table. So how long you been rapping? Um, so I first started battle rapping. Uh, just like freestyle, smoking weed, high school. Um, I think like 14. Uh, or something like that. You know, I, I, did, I didn't start really recording anything until like I was 15, 16, uh, when I got Pro Tools. And then, you know, I was doing my thing, and then 19 through 21, 22, I wasn't really doing it. I was just partying, you know, just living a college experience. Um, I wish I did put more time into it, but I'd say I've been rapping for like close to like eight years, nine years now. Which is what what has been your favorite venue to perform in Orlando? Uh, favorite venue to perform in Orlando. I'm not gonna lie, I've had some really good experiences at that sound bar. Uh, you know, like the stage is nice, the speakers are great, they're out in the house engineers on point. Um, they have an upstairs, they have a downstairs, they have a nice bar. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of good experiences there. Sometimes it doesn't matter how big the stage is, it's really about the energy there. So knowing, like, you started battle rapping before you was a rapper, like, what's your what's your take on battle rap? You fuck with battle rap? Yeah, 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 I fuck with battle rap. You know, there's actually a new movie produced by Eminem, uh, Body. That shit fucking crazy, man. This Ed Sheeran looking motherfucker is just, like, destroying everyone in the game. Um, yeah, like, I mean, it's not like I ever competitively battle rap seriously. You know, it's just like a freestyle thing with your boys and shit, and then we battle rap just talking shit. It was funny. Um, but that's ironically just how I got into it. But I think battle rapping is a very great art form. Um, you know, you know, you can step in that ring, you can take it personally, don't take it personally. But it's fucking, you know, when you start putting lyricism and like disses together, man, that's, that's the ability to diss is not a disability. You know what I'm saying? That's that's true. Art's been crap. You know, they got a lot of respect. You know, for people that choose not to even go on that radio path, mainstream path, they they know they can do it, but they just stick on that battle rap pack if that's what they like. So a lot of these battle rappers, they have a lot of spark in them. You know, they really love what the fuck they do. So I have a lot of respect on these battle rappers compared to most of these clowns you know, that the industry has been promoting. You know, we got Lil Xan out here going to the hospital, eating Cheetos, what kind of shit is that? And then acting like you're hard. Like, you're not hard, brother. Um, you know, I, we, we can go on and name name everybody in the game that I probably don't like, but it's not going to do, do us any good. You know, you do you, I do me, but there's you know that a lot of clowns are kind of drowning the actual real talent. In the industry, because it's a lot about like your image and your, um, you know, your your social media. Like, it doesn't matter if your influence is bad or good. They just care about the cloud. They just care about the views, the follows. And that's a lot of clouds. You know, they just happen to be in, in a fast money lane where they just happen to get all the promotions. But a lot of you know people that work hard and talent wise, that may not have the best budget. You know, they get shadowed by all these clowns right. just because they have someone behind them with the budget or whatever. So. I, I mean, like, you know, more power to them. You know, you know they, they got they connected the right dots, or they got the right best or everything, but there's a lot of clowns that are, aren't getting a better shot than a lot of people in town, that's for sure. That's just how the industry has always been. So do you have some bars for the people? You got 16 bars for them? You want 16 bars right now? I guess, I guess, for sure. Uh, yeah. When I'm sitting back and I'm drinking this load of lead Coronas, I'm smoking that Kona, and you never thought it when the shit was over. I'm sober, but when I came from Delaware, I was right out of Dover, so slumped over. Feel like somebody just pushed the boulder when I'm thinking it's a weight off my chest. I was clinically depressed. The same reason I took a minute, I said myself, give a sec. The suffocation in my lungs defecated my breath. You think you the shit, but you don't know what to expect when you're next. The grim ribbon with the sight, he takes it twice with the knife and the dice. Sex your fucking life and then intersects twice. And if you got something to say that you the prop and the rich, it don't really matter because you ain't popping like you body rich, you say you hard, but you sharper than a young marshmallow. And every time I'm pissing drunk, I know that shit's black and yellow. Like Wish Khalifa on the diamonds, yeah, that's straight to the Stellas. And I've been pounding with my bitch, that's my young Cinderella. Gone. Yeah, man, y'all heard it here first. Straight bars from my nigga John. My nigga John, man. So, shit, what else you gotta say to the people, man? Hey, man, just shout out to everyone that supports all their local friends. You know, all the talent we go, all the promoters that make shit happen for the local talent, uh, local talent to come out and just vibe together. You know, um, Orlando's been a great experience networking. Um, I, I literally left my girlfriend in Fort Myers um, and all my friends two years ago just to, you know, follow my dreams and just be in the right path. And, you know, thank God for, you know, blessing me with 
making up for all the mistakes I've done in my life, you know, trying to wipe the slate clean, you know, try to do this shit right. And uh, definitely Orlando has made me a better artist, a better man. Uh, so, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm thankful for the people I'm surrounded with right now. Um, and everyone that pushes me harder. So, yeah, shout out to everyone doing their thing. Shout out to all the promoters. Shout out to anybody making their fucking moves, man. I hope you follow all your dreams, brother. So what do you got to say to your supporters, man? I fucking love you. <laughs> I fucking love you guys so much. Like, it's crazy, man. I do the same for y'all, man. Hey, if you need anything, just send me up, brother. So, man, we finna wrap it up, my nigga John Don. Hey, man, what if, what if people can find you at, man? Alright, where do people can find you at on social media? Alright, alright, so I make it real easy for my uh, people I want to find my music. YouTube.com slash John Don Music. You go on Spotify, Apple, Tidal, Pandora, anything like that. It's John Don. Uh, you can search on Block Drive, open to the main ground EP, on Google, anywhere you want. Uh, SoundCloud.com slash John Don Music. Instagram, John Don Music. Um, Twitter, at the real John Don. I am between much no more, but um, yeah, man, just type in John Don Music. Uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble finding me, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on Dank TV, oh, brother. Sure, brother. Uh, yeah, man. So I'm with my nigga John Don. Hey, we gonna told you the social medias, man. You feel me? And one more question, man. You charging some features, man? How much for that feature? Uh, currently 200. Um, so get out of while it's cheap. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm, I understand the budget. I'm willing to work with people. Uh, payment plans, you know, we can work all that shit out. I just can't be handing out freebies no more, you know. I'm not a, I'm not a hooker trying to get a name in on the street, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been doing this shit, I've been doing shows, I've been grinding, I'm promoting, you know, I need to work out the budget, um, you know, and it will, it will make it right, you know, it will be, it, you're gonna love the verse, you're gonna love it, um, or the hook, whatever you need, man. I'm also offering ghostwriting to any people that need songwriting help, um, mixing, mastering. I'm not a beat maker, I'm not much of a beat maker, but I got homies that need help. You know, just hit me up, let's link up, let's network, let's make something happen. Yeah, yeah, man. Man, this your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions from Dank Daddy from the Dank TV. I'm with my nigga John Don Music, you feel me? Hey, go check this shit out, man. You're a real dope artist, man. You heard it here first on Dank TV, man. It's your boy Cheeseburger, man. We out this business. Yeah, yeah.